Oh. Wait. And then we had... Um, holy shit, 16,000 off. So. Oh, damn. Oh, that's bad. Hello everyone and welcome to another great racing experience. Today I will talk you through my races during the top down racing league's third season of the random cup. We were in week 4 out of 5 last week and tonight is gonna be the big finale. Quick pause because if you would like to visit me during a live stream and during one of the competitive races or leagues you can head over to twitch.tv slash TV, where I will be live streaming every Monday from 8pm onwards. The link will be in the description below if you want to root for me tonight as well during the big final race and the final week of the TDRL Random Cup. Alright, let's continue. Every week consists of 3 preheats and 1 final race. That final counts for double points as well, so it's very important to get in that final race every week. The current standings are very close, but Minardi is leading the pack with 139 points and Hotshot is right behind me in 3rd place while I am sitting at 124 points so uh, hotshot is one point behind me actually as of last week the first preheat was a 10 lap gp at tilk sport club preheat 2 was 21 laps of gt super cup at magdalena and the third preheat was the 50s gp revival series at magdalena club as well and the grand finale of last week was at buffalo hills the club circuit with the fast so the first race started out well, I got pole position after the qualifier, but during the race I was hesitant on strategy. I was thinking it was a zero stop, but then when I started lap 6 I looked at my fuel and I kinda realized I made a mistake. In the end this cost me the victory in this first race, uh, I was not the only one making this mistake though, since Winardi went full out as well and did a full zero stop, so because of him fuel saving a lot uh, we caught up to him again and overtook him and we claimed p2 in that race right behind hot shots in the second preheat we got pole position once again but this time i had the right strategy white fan man was in second but was not really able to catch up and try to overtake me so i was safe in first place during this race Minardi did not have a very good qualifier in this series as well, and neither did Hotshot. Minardi started in 5th and climbed up all the way to P3 after Hotshot got some issues. Uh, I gained some points here on both of them, so I'm pretty happy about this race since it was my favorite car as well, so I expected a lot of it. During the start of Preheat 3 we had originally chosen for the GP at the new Sugar Hill track, but reversed. Um, during the race we ran into some issues in this lobby so we had a whole incident and yeah I'll just let you take a look at this. Um, hello? So after this incident the new third preheat was decided and it was gonna go down in Magdalena club once again but this time with the 50s GT. So after a great qualifier again I managed to get pole position for a third time this week but it would not last because in lap 11 I decided it would be fun to hit a CCD and yeah lose that position to Minardi who was there to take advantage of. Uh, it got to my head during this race and I must admit that if I had not made that mistake it would have been another P1 in the end but I will take the P2 with these, uh, with these guys in this lobby. So in the end it came all down to the final race once again. This time we would be racing the Voss at Buffalo Hills Club tra track, so which is a very technical track. Uh, the qualifier is really important as well because you don't want to get involved in some turn 1 madness. And I think I did a good job but I made a quick little mistake in turn 2 so I went too wide into that corner and that cost me some tents towards uh, P1 which was claimed by Minardi. He had very strong pace during the race as well, but at the start, into turn 1, something odd happens. Oh my. So I come out pretty good sitting behind in second place after that incident, but you see after the race both me and Minardi saw different things. We have talked to each other about this and we respected each other's decisions and each other's uh, opinions on it. 
Um, but for Minardi, he saw way different things than I did, so uh, it looked like I was hitting him before the turning point. But on my screen, I kept the distance to him. So this this is a perfect example for why the netcode isn't really up to date yet. At lap 5, Minardi overtakes me again, and uh, right before the start finish straight, I tried to minimize my mistake there to undercut him and maybe take that P2 back but it doesn't really work out since I had some damage and had a slower slower outlap overall. Um, in the end we keep this position and we take P3 and 16 points with us. Out of these races we gain 44 points and with that I lose P2 to Hotshot who has 1 point more than me. Uh, the gap towards Minardi has gotten less so in the end I'm happy with the performance for both me and Hotshot as well because he drove really insane this week. Um, if you enjoy this kind of content and for more racing experience like this or just some general tips that I like to throw out sometimes, make sure to subscribe to the channel and of course go to my Twitch where I will be live every Monday from 8pm onwards. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.